no one enjoys taking their pet to the vets. So today I'm going to give you the top five ways you can keep your pet healthy, happy and out of the vet clinic. I'll be honest, time and again I go on about how important preventative health care is, how taking a few key targeted steps can make all the difference to your pet's happiness, to their health and to potentially their quantity of life, so how long they're living. But sometimes I think that message is lost. Well, today I really want to hit it hard. Welcome to Call the Vet, the show that answers all your dog and cat questions so they can live healthier, happier lives. And here's your host, veterinarian Dr. Alex Avery. You're listening to episode number 60 of the Call the Vet podcast. This is the show where I answer all of your questions about your dog's health, about how to keep your cat healthy as well, or how to treat disease. Whatever question it is you've got about dogs and cats, then I'm here to answer it. And if we've not met before, then my name's Dr. Alex. I'm the veterinarian behind OurPetsHealth.com. I've been a veterinarian since 2006, and my mission is to help you and your pet live as healthy and happy a life as possible. And a big part of this mission is trying to make everybody aware of the simple steps that they can take, including you, to optimise your pet's health in the first place. And prevention is always better than cure. It's cheaper. It's better for your pet. It's better for your anxiety levels. Uh, it's definitely better for your bank balance. And it will ultimately mean that your pet is also with you and part of the family for many more years than they may otherwise have been. It's really, you know, it really is that important. You know, as a, as a vet, I see, obviously, I see a lot of animals that are unwell, but a big part of my day-to-day -day job is also preventative health care, which, you know, absolutely makes sense if we can prevent diseases. Like I say, it's far better. But when I'm dealing with sick animals, a lot of those cases have some underlying factor behind them that could have been either prevented completely or the risks could have been really reduced. And while it may be that the pet still came down with that illness, at least there wouldn't be that question mark about if only I had done X, Y or Z to prevent this problem. And it's because of this that I've produced my completely free guide, which is the Pet Health Essentials, the guide to keeping your pet happy, healthy and out of the vet clinic. You can get your hands on it simply by heading over to ourpetshealth.com slash pet care guide. There's going to be links in the show notes in the description to this podcast as well. And once you've got your hands on it, I can guarantee you that you're going to find something that you can work on, something that you can change in your pet's life, in your pet's environment that could potentially have a huge impact on their life. And now let's jump into the show. So this episode of the Call the Vet show is going to be a little bit different because I really wanted to focus, like I said at the beginning, on preventative health care. And I wanted to talk about the five key areas that you can take action in, you can concentrate in, you should focus your efforts on that will make the most difference and will prevent the bulk of preventable diseases. So what I've got for you today is actually the audio taken from one of my recent YouTube videos that takes you through each of these steps. So let's get into it. And the first way that you can keep your pet as healthy as possible is to make sure that they are a good healthy weight. Unfortunately, about 60% of our pet dogs and cats are classified as either overweight or obese, and this has a massive impact on their life. It makes them more likely to develop diseases like arthritis, um, diabetes and kidney problems, and it also reduces their life expectancy. They will die earlier. So making sure that you choose a good diet for your pet, that you're feeding the right amount and that you're monitoring their weight to make sure they stay healthy is absolutely critical. And looking after your pet's teeth is the next step. So dental disease is really common. About 80% of pets will have some form of dental disease by the time they reach three years of age. And again, bad teeth. It's painful uh, and also causes problems with the rest of the body and has been linked to things like heart disease and kidney failure. So looking after your pet's teeth with brushing, with dental chews, with diets or with oral gels is absolutely crucial to make sure that they're happy and healthy. Arthritis has one of the biggest impacts on the quality of a dog and cat's life and is incredibly common, especially as our pets are living longer. Unfortunately though, it's something that is often ignored or is passed off as a normal aging change, a normal slowing down, and the 
impact that it has on the comfort levels, the pain that it causes our pets is often ignored. So don't be that toner. Make sure you're aware of the top signs of pain in your dog or in your cat so that you can catch it early and give your pet the treatment that they need. Preventing any known disease risks in your area is next and that's going to involve giving the right vaccinations to your pet. You don't need to give everything but know what disease are going to be a risk because of where you live or because of the lifestyle that your pet lives, whether your dog is going out into the woods, whether your cat is indoor or goes outside and also keeping up with parasite control. So that's not just fleas, it's also ticks which carry some really nasty diseases and also internal parasites like worms and heartworm is a big one of course. So making sure that you know what risks there are that are going to face your pet in their lifetime and taking steps to prevent those is absolutely crucial to keep your pet healthy and to avoid unnecessary vet visits. And then finally, you need to think about neutering your dog, so spaying, or castrating. It's a really important step that you can take to keep your dog healthy, but you also need to be aware when the best time to spay your dog is and whether you should castrate or not. It's a big decision and there are some health benefits as well as some potential risks to getting this procedure done, but it is a cornerstone of a healthy pet in a huge number of cases. So I'd be really surprised if one of those areas wasn't relevant to you and your pet and your lifestyle. Remember, you can download the guide. It's absolutely free. You can get it at ourpetshealth.com slash pet care guide. There's also going to be links in the in the show notes and in the podcast description as well. And really take your time to go through it. Have a good think about how you can implement some changes. And remember, really small changes can and absolutely do make all the difference. And even if you can make one or two or three or four tiny changes, the impact of those can be truly massive. So make sure you download that guide. The other thing you need to do is if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't left a review for the show, I can't emphasize enough how much that means to me, how much it helps to let other people know that this podcast is worth their time listening to. Share it with a few friends, but definitely download that guide at ourpetshealth.com slash pet care guide. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alex. This is the Call the Vet podcast. Take care. You've been listening to Call the Vet. Be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of the show that answers all of your pet questions.